The Seminole County Farm Tour gives residents an opportunity to get out to farms to see where their food comes from. This year, the Seminole County Farm Tour started with the first stop at Farm Daddy in Sanford, Florida. And that is an operation that creates a growing technology that is suitable for both urban farms, for your backyard, and for community gardens and real growing in an, a variety of different types of environments. What I have designed is a self-watering garden container. With this garden that you see here, it runs off of one garden hose. I don't water it, I don't weed it, I don't fertilize it at all during the whole season. There's a setup, it takes about 10 minutes to set a box up, and then I'm done for the season. I only change the soil in the box every two years. I thought it was pretty cool because we're, we're really into hydroponics, so especially with tower gardens and Lowe's sells the hydroponic systems. Um, so it's interesting to see a different way with soil and um, just having one hose, which was really cool. The second stop on the farm tour was an old time favorite, South Seminole Farm and Nursery, learning about their 40 year history here in Seminole County of growing organically before it was a trendy label. We've been growing organic vegetables here since 1978. And it's a few techniques and it's not hard to do and uh, stay away from those chemicals if you can help it. Plus when you grow it yourself, it's fresh out of the garden and that really gives you the best taste. The third stop was at the Seminole County Museum of History where we received a presentation from the museum's curator about the rich agricultural past of Florida with a big focus on the cattle history in the state. Over 500 years of herding cattle across Florida. We Is this part of the cow? Yes, part of the cow. The hooves, the horns, and the bones. No kidding. And we That's even, we even use, use the moo in toys. Oh. And the final stop on the Seminole County Farm Tour was to the Sanford Community Garden, a very active and successful community garden that we have right up here in Sanford, Florida, with about 50 plots that local residents come together to maintain and grow food together. You have a nice collection going. How the heck did you get the carrots to grow? <laughs> I can't get them to grow. Carrot. So everybody, when they join the garden, uh, along with their annual membership, they get a garden planner, they get a garden coach, and they have a, a list of their water buddies around them in their neighborhood to help them keep their plot nice and hydrated. I'm actually really interested in the uh, community garden kind of concept. We're building a new school for Millennium, so I'm interested in possibly doing that with uh, our neighbor elementary school, have a community garden. Um, so it, it definitely gave me some good ideas. What happens with the community that builds? What happens when we come together and we know each other because we've worked in the dirt together? What happens when that, that occurs? And, I, and in this day and time when, when division is the biggest thing, when you have something like this that draws us all together, it, it's not an option, it's a need.